Hey everyone, um, making a video on killing the red dragon boss and uh, basically why I'm starting the video here is because this is a good um, uh, area to get water and food and um, yeah uh, and basically we're entering right over here into the unnamed city uh, to um, kill the boss. Also, I'm assuming you're level 17, and um, yeah, at level 17 you unlock the palisades, and basically for this method you only need one palisade. Um, you, you can have more than one, but uh, really, you uh, um, only really only need one, and. Um, yeah, basically all you're doing to get there safely, um, by taking this route to the, uh, Red Dragon boss, you don't get attacked by any enemies, it's really safe. Um, there are enemies everywhere, just over that ridge there, there should be a bat. Uh, he's not there right now, but, oh, there he is. Um, so yeah, um, all you're doing is just following the grass along this uh, little crevice area you just follow the grass along if um, you you'll hear like a lot of enemies making noises and stuff um, that's just part of the sound effects like there weren't there's nothing actually uh, charging to to attack you yeah you're just following the grass along this area um, okay, I won't bother with the map because it's very confusing in here. Um, as soon as you see that baby dragon there, all you're doing is uh, cutting left between these. Uh, it's like an alleyway between this, uh, these stone structures and these, and you're just making your way through here. You get um, corrupted, um, corruption. Like, but it, it's a small price to pay for killing the dragon. There's a little bit of corruption through there. As you can see, I've been um, corrupted. I've been running through there quite a bit. Um, so yeah, I, I, I also recommend what you bring. Uh, you bring lights. It's very important, actually, because this area here... Um, I, uh, this area here... Um, gets very dark very fast and um, all I've done is I've put a light there and there and I've um, also very important put a bed roll here um, just in case the dragon kills you you just spawn there and you can try again so um, all I have here is I've set up a um, how I built this I put a, a sandstone foundation here and I built um, sandstone fence foundations along the side of it going down you just have to lift it up high enough for you to jump over and uh, yeah I built five blocks down and five blocks um, across um, and then I put my wedge uh, my palisade there I, I only do that because I'm um, I'll explain a little better was the end of the video but um yeah um yeah you see how I built this here it's just five blocks and five blocks down and uh yeah you might want to build yourself a little hut here just in case um a um uh sandstone hits a sandstorm uh yeah that, that'll protect you there just keep a, a wall on you, just build the uh, outer edges and the roof and all you have to do is run inside and build and hold a wall on you and you should be good um, yeah I'll show you how you cut him over um, you, you probably would want a, um, a bow to um because sometimes you walk here and he won't follow you and um yeah, all, you, all you're doing is, the second you gain his aggro, you quickly run down here, and um, 
Yeah, that's what you're doing here. And uh, I'll explain um, later in the video um, why it's it's really important to build like this. As you can see he's almost dead. Um, another thing I wanted to mention was it's really crucial you gauge the distance between the, um, the two pillars because um, like you can you'll notice that there's not much space here in the middle here and um, he's such a big dragon it took me so long to gauge the distance between the pillars because if you build a pillar here he'll move between the two walls and he'll pretty much respawn back to where he started and um, yeah he'd pretty much respawn with full health so if it's important to gauge the distance between the uh, the two pillars and just um, like you'll see here I left a lot of space for him to move through here to try and kill me here and um, um, okay, uh... Um, you'll see, I just placed the sandstone right here, and uh, I built next to the stairs. Um, and this is just, uh, uh, I'll let you have a look at how I built this. It's really important you get lights. Uh, I'll mention it again because it gets really dark here really fast. And yes, you're looking at one, two, three, four, five. So you want wherever your your platform you're jumping over is, you want to go five platforms out. Um, when you come out because that that's the bare minimum I recommend any any closer if you're kiting him any closer he'll start shooting fire at you and yeah I there's no way around that I built so many I built three walls through here and he still managed the fire goes through the wall and it still gets you here and in the beginning how you saw me get shot here by the fire it's really important don't worry about um, losing aggro once you once you gain his attention um, just sprint as fast as you can to the uh, to the back here and yeah and the second you jump down he'll, he'll turn around uh, so yeah that's all I wanted to cover and uh, maybe build yourself a little hut here just in case the sandstorm hits because um, I'm assuming you're level 17 and uh, you haven't got the mask yet yeah, it's just one of those things that so yeah